M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the Bofeng UV3R. And yes, it does look like the Yesu UV3R. So let's just go through the basics here. We'll turn it off to start with. And I'll just quickly show you around the device. It does have a, a nice, very good lithium battery under here. And you have a switch. Just click that upwards and it just slide, slides off here. Now it's a bit more awkward when the, the belt clips on, which is held on with a screw and does come with a small tab so you can fill the gap without the belt clip. But there's your battery there, look. And you can charge this in the included base unit. But you don't need to because you can do it all within the radio and the base unit is bigger than the radio if you ask me. But if you wanted to, it goes in there. And then at the front end, the radio can sit at the front. So that's your lithium battery. And I think it lasts fine. It lasts several hours. You know, it's only a small battery. Um, so there you go. And you can have the display light on this device on continuously. And just slide that back on. And it does need to be seated nicely for you to flick that switch back up. So the correct thing is down to take, is to take it out and up locks it into place. On the right hand side, you've got your speaker microphone, which actually works really well. Just plugs into here, like so. It's a single pin one. Push it firmly, and then you actually get a PTT and then the headset, and, and it just works good. That's all I can say. So let's take that out, and then you've got your DC charger pokes in the bottom small hole and into the back of the, the base unit. In the base unit, you can just see it just sort of there, just here, that's your pin. And in the main unit, it pokes in here. And at one end is actually USB, which plugs into the, the mains supply that they give you. Um, like so, and you actually have a little LED light and I marked it as well. So yeah, all good with the hardware. And on the other side, you've got your PTT button. You've got your ER, which is your light, or LR, sorry. Push it once is your light, and then hold it is your radio. And hold it again, you go back to the dual display screen, VHF, UHF. And I've tested the audio on this on receive and transmit and it's excellent, even using the earpiece. So it does show UHF on the, let's call it the A band, and VHF on the sub band. But I've noticed in memory channels, it will, on the, at least on the A band, show VHF and UHF channels. And we're in memory channels now. One thing I got stuck on was if, to turn the, the knob, you do have to pull it up first. And once you do that, you've released it. So pushing it down effectively locks it. But also, I think holding down the menu button is a lock as well. But let's just turn it backwards. So you can see there, you've got a VHF frequency there. And then turn it to the right, UHF. And we are in memory mode, which you get to by just holding down the UV button. And you know when you switch over because the memory channels disappear. So let's try that again. There you are, we held that down and it's picking up probably Hubnet. So you notice I'm not quite getting onto the Hubnet frequency there, so I need to just sort of change the step. All you do is go menu by pressing this button here. So that's your menu and you can cycle through all the menus. Turn and the menus are numbered. This is number two, right in the corner there. Squelch is a handy one. Light on, very handy. So number four, turn the light on. To make changes, you just press, once you're on the menu item, which does time out, press menu, hit UV, like so. And then you can just do that again. Menu, hit UV, and then it go, the arrow goes down to the bottom and you can make changes with the, with the knob, basically. We'll leave it to on, but you can select just when you press key if you want. But I leave it on all the time. And then to come out, press the UV again to bring the, the arrow back up and then menu and you're back out. Okay, that's how you make selections. We're just going to change the step so we can find our frequency. And the step selection is just menu, 
go to menu number nine, hit UV, the arrow goes down, and then just make the one you want, okay? We just choose that one for now. And that's how you do that. To go A and B, you just press UV, up and down, like so. To change the volume, just press volume, and then it flashes on the screen, and you can turn the volume up and down with the top knob. When you finish, just press that again. When you're in VFO mode, you can just change the frequency just by turning the knob. Change the step if you want to change the frequency faster. Press the V like so to go to the B band, and we could go to say that's GB3WR. Now, if you want to save, you know, the all the settings for a repeater, let's just say we do it on the B band. So we'll just go go down to the the B band. Select the frequency of, of the what they call the output, that's what you'll be listening to. And then to go into your menu, just go menu. And then we need the transmit code, not the receive. So we'll turn it once to menu number two, press UV, and then you can change it to 94.8, press UV again. And the next menu, you can adjust your squelch and even the power. You can adjust, you've got your light, your beep, keep going, power there. If you want to go up and down, just press the UV, low or high. And it's two watts, this radio. Though they're advertising that the, the upgraded version can do more, but I'm not sure if it can. And the other thing this can do is it can actually have dual watch. Uh, so it listens to both the A and the B. At the, um, well, it will monitor them at the same time. You'd only hear one at a time, but it will monitor them both. You can turn that on and off. You press menu again, keep scrolling. There's your dual watch there, menu eight. Press UV, on or off. Keep going through, and there's your step again. Offset, you're gonna need that for your repeater, so it's 600, so you press UV, and you'd go to 600, and it tends to be 7.600 if you're gonna do um, a UHF repeater. So it's quite a long troll, that's why the, it would be easier to do it with the software, which works fine. Press menu, menu again, we've got our offset, keep going, shift, press UV, and we want minus, press UV to save, go back to menu. So we've got our tone, we've got our shift, we've got our frequency, we can select wide or narrow on number 13 if we want. Timeout, that's how long you talk, that's menu 15. 180 seconds, that's an S at the end. Busy lockout, I think that means if you turn that on and someone's speaking, it won't let you TX. You got the. You can put re receive TX if you want. So if you go menu right now and we go to the sub band, we're all ready for GB3WR. I don't think we'll get it in this room. If we go outside, we will. Um, so there you are, M0FXB, GB3WR. And the, the signal meter is always at the bottom. So to save that to memory, nice and easy, you just press the, they call it the FA button, function button, yeah? You just go F. Well, we need to just be on the B section first. You can see that dual watch is turned on. So we'll go to the B, move the arrow down by pushing UV, then press the F, the button beneath the PTT. And what you'll see when I press it, the, 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 the number will flash of the memory channel. So you press it. It's now flashing. Just do that again. You press it, then the UV. So it's, we need to go to the B, which we're on now. F, then UV, then the number flashes. Turn to the number you want. Let's just choose something like 30. Press it again. So now it takes us back to VFO mode. But if we go to memory mode, it's holding down the UV. And then 30, there it is there. Let's took us straight to it, the number 30. We've added a, a memory channel and a repeater. The other function of the F button is A for alarm. So if you hold it down, you get your alarm. And then just press that. So I think that's pretty much everything on this device. It's just a very handy little, it's a pocket size radio. You know, there's the UV 5R, U, sorry, UV, UV K5, sorry. And look, look at the difference, big difference. And that actually makes a lot of difference because it's pocket size. The UV K6, you can put it in your pocket or your coat, but you'd know about it. But this thing, you'd actually forget it was in your pocket. So 
I think it's excellent and the audio reports are so good on it as well. Uh, one for the box, You're going live on Facebook as well. I mean, it's really loud. Look at the size of it, but it just, it really packs a punch. And you can do, with line of sight, you can do a lot with two watts. You really can. And then the fact that you can just, you know... Yeah, I mean, that is possible. Listen to uh, your really favourite radio stations. Be... Just move away. You can just listen. That's G7RPG on Hubnet. I highly recommend you use Hubnet, by the way. I'll just show you my control panel. This is my Hubnet control panel. There's a box that you get, and then this controls it, and you can talk to people all around the world. Sorry, it's not the clearest image, but I highly recommend contact g7rpg at hotmail.com to get me just go on to the midland app which is a free app and just call me on hamtech and i can help you i've also got a zello channel called hamtech m0fxb give me a call there if you need help bye for now seven three